Hi there, I'm Bo Bachman, and I'm here to share with you a website called favstar.fm. If you've been using Twitter for any length of time, and you're familiar with favoriting a tweet, that is, putting a star on something memorable, funny, or informative, chances are you've heard of favstar.fm. If you've never heard of Favstar, or if you're looking for ways to get started here, let me give you a little tour. Favstar.fm is a companion application for Twitter that uses the Twitter API to aggregate information about tweets that have received favorite stars, or in this case, Favstars. This is a fancy way of saying it's constantly crawling through Twitter profiles, checking out what tweets people are starring and how many stars those tweets receive. And then it presents this information in a way you can't see by simply using Twitter by itself. So let's get started. When you bring up the website at favstar.fm, the first thing you'll see is what's called the leaderboard, Favstar's homepage. This is a selection of recent tweets that 100 or more people have favorited. At the top, you'll see links for other pages showing recent tweets with 50 stars or recent tweets with 10 stars. Just to the right, there are three more links, All Time, Popular, and Favstars. The first link, All Time, shows the 20 tweets that have received the most stars in the history of all time, or at least since the Roman Empire collapsed. The next link, Popular, is a list of all the people who've received 50 or more stars on at least one tweet. You'll see that it also shows the number of tweets they have with at least 50 stars. Further down the page, there are other sections for popular tech and social media tweeters, as well as celebrity tweeters, each with tweets that have received 50 or more stars. The third page, Favstars, is unique in that it's designed to highlight users who don't have thousands of followers, but have recently had a home run tweet that received a lot of stars. The more followers a person has, the more difficult it is to appear on this page. Also, the Favstars page emphasizes quality over quantity, so someone who's an excessive tweeter is a little less likely to appear in this list. You're always sure to find someone new and interesting to follow here. At this point, I'm going to log in by clicking Sign In with Twitter. Here, you see a page that allows you to use Twitter itself to log into favstar.fm. In simple terms, Favstar contacts Twitter, and Twitter is the site you're actually logging into. This protects your identity. Favstar will never tweet or follow anyone without your permission, and it never actually has access to your Twitter password. So I've now logged in, and I can proceed to my favstar.fm page. Here, I can see the 20 of my tweets that have received the most stars the last 20 tweets that have received stars, the people who have starred one or more of my tweets recently, and the last 20 tweets that I've given stars to. And from this page, there's a link to another page showing the people whose tweets I've starred recently, in order of number of total stars. When you're logged in, you'll see that you now have a link named Me that always takes you directly to your favstar.fm page. Next to it is a feature called My Favstar List, this page allows you to set up a Twitter list of your favorite people on favstar.fm. Once you've added users, their most recent tweets will appear in your own custom timeline here, and this list will be added to your profile on Twitter automatically. I'm going to go back to my popular tweets page. Below each tweet, there's a row of avatars. These are the people who starred that individual tweet. If there's more than one row of avatars, you can click View All to see all the people. Let's click on an avatar and go to the favstar.fm page for my friend Karma. Here, just like on my page, I can see his 20 most popular tweets, his recent tweets with stars, who has favorited his tweets recently, and who he's given stars to recently. Clicking on avatars is a great way to find new users. You can go from profile, to profile, to profile finding new people to connect with, and tweets you may not have seen before. Here's a user that does not appear in my favstar.fm list. If I decide to add them to it, at the top of the page I can click this link to add the user to my custom list. To the right, favstar.fm will show some interesting statistics about each user's number of friends, followers, stars given, stars received, and a ratio of favorites to followers. On your page, however, the faves received and faves per follower information are only displayed if you follow the Favstar account on Twitter and if you've logged into the site at least once. Favstar has its own Twitter account, and following Favstar has another secret benefit. Like I said before, 
Five Star works by crawling through public Twitter pages and archiving information about which tweets each user has starred. The secret benefit is that the Favstar crawler looks at its followers' pages and their friends' pages first, and thus if you follow Favstar, the stars you give and receive are likely to appear on the site more quickly. Now let's go back to the home page. You can click Leaderboard, or click on the favstar.fm logo. Here I see a tweet that makes me laugh, so I'm going to favorite it. At the right edge of every tweet on favstar.fm, there are links for starring the tweet, replying to it, and retweeting it. Starring a tweet here will automatically reflect on your Twitter account, and it will show up immediately on the favstar.fm website. Since I don't follow this user yet, there's a link under their avatar that I can click to begin following them on Twitter. A little farther down, I see a tweet that I favorited with Tweety on my phone earlier, and since the crawler has seen it, it now shows up on the website. One thing I'll recommend is saving the favstar.fm bookmarklet. At the top of each page, you'll find a link that says One Click. From this page, you can drag the bookmarklet to the toolbar in your browser. Now from any person's Twitter profile, clicking this bookmark will link directly to their favstar.fm page. If you click it while you're on someone's favstar page, it'll link directly back to their profile on Twitter. Also at the top of every page, international users can select an alternate language in which to view the site, with leaderboard tweets tailored to users who tweet in that particular language. But since I don't speak Japanese and my German needs work, I'm going to switch back to English by clicking the British Union Jack. And those are the basics. Take a few minutes to explore the site and make new friends. If you like to use Twitter, chances are there are a lot of people waiting to meet you on favstar.fm. I like Favstar because of the number of people I've met and become friends with here. We find similar things funny about daily life, and through Favstar, I've been able to make my Twitter experience much more rewarding. On behalf of the favstar.fm team, thanks for checking it out. Mm -hmm.